Tuesday. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see that look on Damien's face. Oh god, his wish finally came so fast. Yes! Yes, yes, I can hear you. What? <coughs> are, are you serious? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, hang on, I'll be home soon, very soon. Just stay put, I'm coming home soon. <laughs> wow, love you, baby! Hey, that's not the level this huge. Wow! <laughs> Doctor, we're, we're dying of anxiety. Can you just put it out? No need. The test result is out. You're pregnant. <laughs> But I have a situation on ground now. I have your wife's uh, blood sample. Um, I need your blood sample. I just want to run a little test. Doctor? Sorry, could it be? Isn't it too early to start having complications? Okay, okay. Doctor, now you're making me scared. What's it, what could it possibly be? Calm down. Okay. When I'm done with the test, so, let me. Just follow me. Hmm? How could you? How could you do this to me, Debbie? How? You know you can make this disease. You married me a virgin. How could you do this to me? I'm talking to you. Look at me when I'm talking to you. God, I hate you. I just hate you. I hate you more than the devil right now. I hate you. I hate you. You murdered the devil! I hate you! Sorry, God knows.
don't do this to yourself. Just leave it. Say what you want to say. I'm listening. I feel your pain, Julia, and I know that this is so bad. God. God. You just look at me. I am going to die. No. I'm not even up to 35 years. And my life will just end like that. What am I living for? What? What am I living for? Don't say that. You will not die. <laughs> It's not over until it's over. There are antiretroviral drugs you can live with. Erythrocytes, lymphocyte regenerating drugs. Julia, you will not die. Oh, you just mentioned a medical check or no. It is you don't understand. Do. No, you don't. Do. You don't. You don't. You don't understand. I am pregnant. And I am HIV positive. The only thing I have my child is to expect is that I'm going to die. I can't believe. Can't you see? I'm going to die. I can't can believe that. Can you stop, please. What am I living for? What am I living for? I just want you to stop. <laughs> If you had listened to me then, I warned you, didn't I? I told you to go for a blood test in a certified hospital before you take up any marriage vow. You told me it was love that mattered. Look at where love has landed you. AIDS is incurable and highly transmittable. What are you trying to say? Not you know, but I think I feel it is safer for all of us for you to go back to your husband's house. After all, both of you are in this together. Mom, you want to kick me out in trying times? You want to kick me out of your house? In this situation of mine? I will never expect this from you. How can you do this? Have done. Who, who, who could I have done, Julia, to help me? Who, who could I have done in this situation? What else could I have done? Who could I have done? Julia, you've killed me. How is that no brother? How is that no brother? Sounded with an urgent of you. What's wrong? No. I can't believe this. Damien, you HIV positive. What a waste. What a shame. Does your wife know about it? She has the virus too. Oh my god. This is just too much for you, Damien. This is too much for you. What are you going to do, man? That's the reason I called you. I don't, I don't have a clue. My whole life has ended even before it started. How? How? Chinedu, please keep this to yourself. Please, you, you are the only one I can confide in. Thanks for being a friend. I must leave now. I'm 
sorry, friend. I am going to tell you what I love me. Okay, but I will drop by and uh, see you. same question. Do you think I haven't done everything to take this away? I have. Please. lighter for me. I beg you in God's name. Are you still there? My apologies, sir, but he said you should leave whatever you're doing and report immediately. Okay then, alright. Let's go. Mr. Damien, how long do you think you'll be able to hide this great news from us? With all due respect, I don't think I understand what you're talking about, sir. Let me hit it straight. We all knew you were HIV positive. Uh, sir, my personal life has got nothing to do with my job. Big fat lie. Mr. Damien. This company deals with consumable products and you are accessory. What do you think our customers will say when they find out that you're HIV positive? Sir, trust me, honestly, I can handle this. It's not about trust. The company have made their decisions, please. No! No, no, no. 
Rosa, you, you can't do this to me. No, I've worked for this company with my life, my sweat, my blood. You, you can't just throw me out like that. How, how do I fend for my family? So sorry, Debbie, is way beyond. Please, hand over all the documents, the files on your table to Mr. Chino. Please, you may leave my office. Please. Leave my office, Mr. Damien! Please! Take your birds, not to talk of changing your clothes. If for nothing, at least think of the baby you have inside your home. Eunice, I wouldn't even wish my enemy to go through this whole thing I'm going through. Do you know what it feels like to know that death is imminent? Do you know what it feels like to know that you're going to die soon? Do you know? Do you know what it feels like? You see, that's what I'm talking about, Julia. It's a known medical fact that over 75% of people living with HIV die of emotional trauma rather than the disease itself. Listen, you can't do this to yourself. Why wouldn't they die? Why? Do you know that? Even my own mother, the woman who bore me, hardly picks my coat. What else is mom and dad to me? What? What is mom and dad? It's okay, Julie, stop. <laughs> Julia, I have to take my leave, okay? I'll see you before the week runs out. has happened. My whole world has come crashing down. But why don't you just take my life? Why? Why? I've lost my job. I trusted Chinid with my HIV status. He sold me out to the company executives. How do we survive? How, how do I pay the rent? How do I take care of you and the baby? How, how do I pay the bills? Just, just, how? I, I, I know we we'll survive. I don't know how. But I know we will survive. We will survive. I just don't know how.
in your life have you ever taken to my advice why bring a, a child into this world when you know that child will come to suffer pains shame sickness and death no work why julia mom why mom mom please please have you come here to add salt to my injury or to console me what were you expecting? As I kill <coughs> As I kill my own child? Was that what you were expecting? Julia, it's just that it breaks my heart seeing you suffer this way. Most times I, I just <coughs> wish it's just nothing but a nightmare. I wish so too. I honestly wish all of this is a nightmare. Look at me. Look at me, Mom. I really wish it's a nightmare. I wish it's not happening to me. Look at this drug. The side effects. Because it's insomnia. So true. Fine, thank you. Sorry, I had to come a little bit late. I had to make lunch for my husband. It's all right. So, how is she doing? I wish I had a better answer. I wish I just have a decent answer to give to you. Please, my dear, just like we discussed over the phone, I'll be rushing quickly down to the village now. 
Who knows where the solution lies? I just have to go. It's okay, mommy. Don't worry. Um, I will always drop by to see her during my lunch break. You know, your daughter is more than a friend to me. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you. I wish you So, where, where is she now? Okay, I'll just see her. I'll just see her. Taking this thing too hard on yourself. Take a good look at you. You've not had a grain of rice and not drink water. Not to even talk of your medication. My friend, please, I believe that God still has a good plan for you. Good plans. Believe. God. Those words are being less to me right now. Do they still exist? Do they? Julia, all I ask is that you give yourself a little room to be happy. Think of the baby. The baby inside you. Happiness is nothing but an illusion. Look at me and tell me I'm wrong. You just tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> it's so breezy out here. I hope you're enjoying the cold breeze. <laughs> Julia, when is your next appointment with Dr. Mildred? Oh, in um, three days' time. Mm, that's cool. I can feel the baby kick in. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> and I have this strong feeling. It's going to be a girl. Oh. And I'll call her Destiny. Destiny. That's a cute name. But how come you're so certain about the baby's gender? It could turn out to be a boy or even twins. Big the tummy. <laughs> well, I can feel it. I'm very sure she's going to be a girl. Okay. Yes. I want you to promise me that you will take care of my baby when I'm no more. Julia, when will you stop dwelling in these dark thoughts? You know I will always be there for you. I love you more than a sister. your drink. Come on, I'll be happy. <laughs>
HIV status, coupled with her pregnancy. Has she been taking her retroviral drugs? Yes, she has. Just as she complains of the side effects. Insomnia, and uh, sore throat, and sometimes she finds it difficult to even eat. Your wife's health is very, very unstable. She has Typhoid type B, coupled with whooping cough, and now the lack of ascorbic acid. That was why she was so dehydrated and passed out. It's even a miracle that the baby is still alive. Thank God, Doctor, thank God for that. Dr. Mildred, since I set my eyes on that result, my life hasn't been the same. What next? Um, we have to keep her here in order to monitor her health and that of the baby until she delivers. But that is going to be very expensive. Douglas, as I'm talking to you now, my wife is in a very critical situation. And she's heavily pregnant. You have our last hope. Damien, I'm not a pastor. Neither am I in Jesus Christ. Okay, just try some words. What, what, what about the, the balance of the car I sold you? You said you would give me the balance. Try some words.
Vladimir. How could you have been so careless with the life God has given to you? I don't know. But I'm sure three months before my wedding, I went for a HIV test. I, I was negative. I believe it was the lady I slept with two weeks before my wedding that infected me with this deadly virus. Now my, my whole world has come crashing down. God! <sighs> anyway, it's okay. It's past time you heap blames for yourself. If I hadn't sold my house, you know, I'll be traveling back to the States, finally with my family. I would have helped you. You are my last hope. You, you are the only one that can help me now. I beg you in God's name. My wife is sick and about to put to bed. I have sold virtually everything. I've sold my cars. I've sold so many of my properties. Please. It's okay. Just calm down. I'll do something. But what we have to do now is um, we'll go out, you clean up, put up some new clothes. Uh, Damian, if not for you, I wouldn't have been a graduate. And I wouldn't have been working in an oil company now. So I think uh, I have to reciprocate the kind gestures you rendered to me. It's all right. Doctor, doctor. Um, I have paid all the bills. This is the receipt. I've settled all the money for the drugs you prescribed. So, how is my wife now? She has lost so much blood. We are taking her straight to the chair. We have no other option than for her to go for the Zeran station. Sorry, we lost her. Your wife is dead.
rest in peace. <laughs> Father, Lord God Almighty, grant eternal rest to our dear late sister in your bosom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everyone stood up and gave me a cheerful ovation after my special dedication song. Marvelous. Marvelous. Don't worry, next Sunday I will make out time to come myself, okay? Thank okay. you. What song did you sing? It's titled, He is here. <coughs> Okay, you go inside and keep your Bible, get some food, and then you will sing the song for me when you are done. Thank you. Okay, right.
Things you love most about me, even though I've heard much about her and seen lots of her pictures, I still believe I don't know her well enough. Um, like I keep telling you, your mom was sweet, jovial. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. Most times I find myself lost in thoughts of her. Daddy, why did God have to take mommy away from me? From us? Times I think it's my fault. Because she died while giving birth to me. It's not your fault at all. Listen to me, don't ever think so, okay? When you grow up, you understand more about life. For now, we came here to be happy, so yes. To hear the school music group. Are you asking like you don't know? Paula will be the new singer. Thank you, darling. Of course, Paula will be the next singer. Thank you. Why are you people being so sentimental? If she wins, fine. Nobody is being sentimental. We're just being realistic. She's the lead singer. Wait, wait. Course. Are you for me or against me? Okay, okay. Let's just wait until she comes. Yeah, this thing is right. Let's wait. Let's, Let's not take sides. She's coming. <laughs> Hello, girls. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, ma. Wow. The head of the School Literary and Music Society has finally made her decision. Oh. Yes, it's your destiny. <laughs> you have been chosen to lead the school music group. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Thank you, ma. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, I have to take my leave now. Make sure you get back to class, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Why is Paula making a face? Why wouldn't she cry or make a face? Tell me why. For a second time now in a row, the school board has favored you. Instead of her. 
kind of like she's the lead singer. My angel, what is it? Why are you crying? How many times have I told you not to cry? I have told you several times to stop crying. Eh? By the way, who is that person that makes my baby always sad and cry? Is it not that same destiny girl? That little brother sings in church. You know, she has taken my spot in school. Hey! Oh my god, that destiny, that stupid girl. That little brat whose mother died of HIV wants to make my little golden angel to be unhappy in my life ever. That can never be done as far as I'm alive. You hear me? Don't you worry. I will sort it out. I promise. Just a promise to you. Trust me. Are you sure, mommy? That girl must not take my spot. Don't you trust me again? I am your mother. You know what I can do? <laughs> eh? Don't you worry. Just keep cool and watch what I will do to her. I will totally do it to her. I will deal with her. This novel is really confusing, no? Huh? Yes. Evie, hi. Yes, Maka. Hi. Maka, you try you. Seriously, you try. She doesn't even know she's a walking corpse. But there are small dummies in your body. Wow! Where is it? My house, of course. Hmm. You know big phone is this? Oh, no. Amaka, come here. Just look yes. at this. Amaka, if I were you, I would run very far away from this walking dead. If not, she would infect you also. You girls are just jealous of her voice, that's all. Just let us be, okay? <laughs> jealous. Jealous of what? Huh. What forbid? Amaka, you're the only one who doesn't know that her mom died of HIV AIDS. It's a lie. You girls are just saying that to get back at me. Why you waste my bread line? Didn't you girls see how thin her father looks? It's possible he too is also infected. Huh? How can you say such a thing? Get out. You can't do all that. Please let's continue what we're discussing. She doesn't even know how she looks. She wants to give us a child. This is me and something you're talking about. My daughter was humiliated. Turned into an object of scorn and ridicule? How can you sit down here doing nothing? This is absurd. Mr. Damian, what will you have me do? The people in question have already apologized. And moreover, their parents are the grand patrons of this school's parents' association. And you know, their yearly donations go a long way. Politics? What about my daughter? You are a mother. What, do, do you know what she goes through? What about her emotions, her feelings? This girl could hardly walk down the halls of this school without being ridiculed, cursed, spat upon, and sometimes physically abused. Calm down, Mr. Damien. Please calm down. You know, I have to be frank with you. It is not an easy thing for those kids to be in the same room with a child who is... Um, Sorry, see that? Just wait for me outside. Okay. You see, Mr. Daniel, I suggest the only way to salvage this uh, crisis is if you will look for another school to uh, register her. There she can carry on with her life. 
You see, I'm sorry about the whole thing. I'm ashamed. I'm totally ashamed that a school of this pedigree could condescend to expel one of its most intelligent pupils. All because of some, some stupid sentimental bullshit. My angel, let's get out of here. This place does not deserve you at all. It's okay, okay? Don't worry, they won't bully you again. This, this way, please wait. Amaka, I thought you switched side, but guess what? Even the gates of hell can't stop me. They can only try. That please take me away from here. <laughs> with you right there in heaven please can you bring her back to me even if it's just for a day i'm so lonely my sunshine stop worrying don't worry about what happened in your school today okay i will put you in another school better than the school Please sit down. I want to ask you a simple question. And I believe you won't lie to me. Daddy, is it true? Or what Paula and the rest of my schoolmates are saying? Is it true? A simple question, you say. I tell you, this is way complicated. You can imagine. Yes, it is true. This whole, this whole nightmare of a life, this inferno that burns me up every day, all started before you were born. Fine, fine, we get my long dress when it's a slow enough. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Talk of the angel. <laughs> Sit down, baby. Come join us, okay? Get a glass over there and then. Nah, nah, yeah. Bro, don't tell me your girl is shy. Have a, have a glass and join us now. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm fine. No, she's not. She's um, not. I need to see you. It's quite urgent. Okay, I'm, okay, um, Jim. Just give me a minute, okay? And don't finish that trick. I know <laughs> you know how it is. I know you very well. No problem, bro. Oh, no. Take your time. It's okay. My way or not. Look, Damien, that is against my belief as a Catholic. We talked about this. I really don't understand why you have to keep mentioning Why are you it? being so uptight? Why are you being difficult about this? What, what is wrong in it? You have to prove a woman good to me, and that's the only way. Can you You need to confirm my woman will before you get me married. Come on, we are not. We are not in the 70s, for goodness sakes. If you need to get married to a woman that you already slept with and got pregnant, what would I have for you? If 
you know that it's like the option of me getting pregnant for you, one word, go to the mass. Maybe you get a woman of that kind. The one you want. Oh yeah. Maxwell, yeah. Little master on the beach, yeah. It's Graham Meeks on the mix. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm liking your body. Liking, I'm liking your body. I'm loving your body. Loving, I'm loving your body. Baby, come follow me. Come follow me. Come follow me. I've been the way you do when you're ready. It may be good. My may be Your mommy, I go tell your daddy, I'm loving the way you didn't want nobody. My baby girl, it may be go, baby. All the boys them want to touch your body, they want to feel your body. Go baby, you so fine, you make every man they feel your body. I have to feel your body, your body they make me go low. Ah, my baby, my baby girl, I know we understand. I come follow me. Baby, come follow me, cause I like your body. I like it when you did with when nobody. Baby, come follow me, come come follow me. Baby, come follow me. I'm loving the way you did when your body. Me, baby, go. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. Is Julia in? I've not seen her for some time now. Yes, she's in the sitting room. Thank God you're here. Maybe you'll help us to bring her out of her sudden depression. Um, okay, <laughs> let, let me go and see if I can make her smile again. Oh, why not? Okay. Go and see if you can still make her smile. All right, Mama, let me go. Uh, good to have you around. All right. seen or heard from you for some time now. I hope you're fine. What is it? Have you come to talk about me getting pregnant for you before marriage again? Because honestly, we are not going through this whole drama of me getting pregnant before marriage anymore. Okay, fine. I get pregnant. What if I just end up having a miscarriage or a stillbirth? Why are you being pessimistic? Why are you being difficult about this? All I ask of you is simple. We just have to do this to prove we're both fertile. That is it. Yeah, I, I, I know. It, it, it's okay, bro. We, we still need to do this. Do a test to be sure that we are fully healthy. Do I look sick? I'm strong and healthy. Look at me. Do I look like I have a disease? Julia, see, all I'm doing is 
losing our interest. No, stop. See, we are going to end up as man. I know, you can't do this. Look, my mother. Are you serious? Stop it. Look, my mother is going to come. I saw her going last night. Stop it. Okay, okay, I'll go to you. Stop! You're fine. Go to your house. But you are alone in the house. Oh, she just wanted to get. Hey, 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 hey. Wow. I'm so glad you could make it finally. You don't know how long I've waited for this day. Come on, baby. You're rushing me. At least allow me to go take a cold bath. Just like you do it in the movies. Yeah, um, <laughs> just like in the movies. <sighs> okay, do it fast. very night on that very bed your mother my lovely wife lost it all her innocence her joy her hopes and ambition even her life that very night crossed by me Don't cry. In life, some things happen that we have no physical control. No day passes by without me thinking about my wife, your mother. The loneliness she has created, it's like, it's like a gully eating deep into my soul. Please don't cry. It's the only hope I've got now. Be strong for me. Or oh, are you also planning to leave me? No. I can't leave you. You are my life. My hope. My sunshine. My destiny. I won't. It's okay. Please don't cry. Everything will be fine. Please, Daddy, be strong. Daddy. Yes. I ran into the grandma on my way home, and he said, "I'm not a full chorister." Wow. That's good. Are you sure you can compete with those other people? You know they have been singing before you. 
Daddy, am I no longer your sunshine anymore? You are. Just promise me you'll be at church next Sunday and watch me dazzle the full church. Okay, I'll, I'll try and come to church. I. <coughs> 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 Okay, Daddy, just rest. Let me go inside and prepare a light meal so you take your drugs. I must thank you all for having the patience to wait after service. As a matter of fact, we are so privileged to have in our midst a special man of God, a friend of mine, a pastor friend from the West, Pastor Ruwale Ruli. <laughs> Just like I told you all, today is a special day. Today is a special day in the sense that we have someone in our midst, someone that is very talented, a very special girl in our midst. She has something to render to our soul that will strengthen us for this holy race. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Sister Destiny, come up and give us what you have.
by in a while. I had to travel home for my father's funeral. But that was a beautiful song in there. <laughs> well, each time I sing, it fills me with great joy. Ah, uh, no, we still need you here on earth, okay? <laughs> you need... We shall be on our way now. Oh, okay. That's the thing. How is school? Um, school is... It's not something we can talk now, okay? Just drop by at the house and we'll talk about it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, man. Take care of you. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. You sang very well. Just made me proud. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. You mean that school could condescend so low as that? It could be still for defamation of character, you know? I know, Eunice. I know I have a right to sue them for defamation and stigmatizing. But I don't want the public peer into my private life. But I don't want to cause my daughter any embarrassment. I'll just let it go. Well, you're the one calling the shots. Damien, you're not looking too well at all. Yes. I still take medications. It's just that these days, it's getting scarce and inaccessible. Destiny is the only reason I'm still alive. Thoughts of her keep me going. But the truth is, I'm dying. I'm dying. It's okay. I 
and don't make the love my doubt With no answers to my questions I hear this little long voice Speaking to my soul saying hold on I believe in your future Hold on You're a giant for tomorrow Hold on No matter what you go Right in the middle of your doubts 